Hi, hello, people of YouTube. Today, once more with my second video, f second video for today. And today, people of YouTube, much like the last one, the last video I made today. Oh boy. Much like the last video today, we're gonna take a look at another anime that's coming out weekly for the uh, for the spring season of anime. And today, people of YouTube, we're gonna talk about the first three episodes and my thoughts on the second season for Boku no, Ma Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia or whatever the hell, season two. So much like Attack on Titan season two. Boku no Hero Academy pretty much follows exactly where the first season of My Hero Academy or Academia uh, leaves off. Um, after the events, what happened um, against all these villains that they invaded um, the um, the for class one A's field trip of training or whatever the fuck, and um, you follow them and they talk about this UA. Uh, sports festival, which is this, this major huge sports festival filled with all like every major hero out there. And if you're, if you do the best in this tournament or in this festival, you're pretty much almost guaranteed for success after you graduate from UA. And you basically the first like I'm gonna say the first half of My Hero Academy is gonna be about this sports festival, and maybe the rest of it will probably be about something else. I don't know um, anything about the manga of My Hero Academia, so. But we're but we're gonna talk about the first three episodes, like I said, as the time I'm recording this video, only three episodes have came out, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on said three episodes. So let's start talking about each episode individually, shall we? The first episode kinda leaves nothing much handle. I mean it's pretty much exactly where it left leaves off from the first uh, season of My Hero Academia. Nothing really spectacular. The only the only thing that they're really doing that they're explaining the concept of this tournament or this tournament or this festival. And you and you know, All Might wants uh, Midorima to pretty much be like, oh, I am here. You know, uh, the next All Might is here, and all that's well and done. So there's that. Um, that was the first episode. Nothing, again, nothing really spectacular. Nothing really a blowing, mind blowing away from this first ep uh, first episode. So nothing really much that I can say about the first episode. The second episode, however, kind of picks up where now uh, you uh, you see like the people who are uh, of his class and some other people. You know, they're training for this festival. And at the end of the second episode, starts the festival, and you see Bakugo actually. Um, you know, who represented the uh, class 1A, and, um, you, you, he basically makes, like, a declaration of, I'm gonna be the best, I'm gonna be number one, and just get out of my way. That's pretty much Bakugo's mentality, uh, and, um, and Deku mentions that, you know, you know, something's wrong with him, something's gonna be, uh, something major is changing with Bakugo and his character, and I, I, don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with Bakugo's character. He might end up becoming a huge 180, because I'll be honest, people of YouTube, I didn't really like Bakugo and, um, and uh, My Hero Academia. I kind of felt like I, he, he was really annoying, and there was like, there was not one episode where he was not yelling or screaming at Deku for being a fucking idiot. So, uh, I, I kind of hated him as a character. And plus, he's just a total douchebag. So, I, again, I didn't really like Bakugo. But now, I think I'm going to finally probably grow a little bit of a bitter understanding of Bakugo. Maybe as a character. I don't know. We'll see throughout the second season. I don't know. But you also, um, this, <laughs> I'm calling him Zuko because he kind of like, he looks like Zuko. Plus he has the, you know, the eyebrow, um, the eye scar or whatever. Um, the guy, the, the guy with the quirk that has, um, both hot, uh, hot, uh, fire and ice ability as a quirk. He's pretty interesting. You're actually going to get, uh, I feel like I'm going to get, um, more interest, uh, into this character and his backstory, and apparently he's, like, the son of, like, a huge hero or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, they, they did mention it in the, in the last episode that came out, episode 3, which we'll get into episode 3 in just a minute, but in the second episode, it's just basically them kind of training for this, uh, the, the festival, and, um, at the end of that first episode begins like this huge obstacle course that they that they're doing and in the last episode it was basically the entire obstacle course and we'll get into that again in just a minute in just a moment be patient and um you see 
uh, the, the guy, I think his name is Todoroki, uh, the, the Zuko wannabe looking dude, he, you know, he's pretty much kicking ass, he's destroying all the robots, and he's pretty much already tearing through this uh, obstacle course, and um, he also basically makes a declaration to Deku that, or uh, Midorima, that he is going to be number one, and he's going to try and, and stop him because... Because he know he's been noticing that Deku and All Might have been getting pretty close with one another, and you know he's all pro he's already trying to he's probably suspe suspicious on the two characters and whatever. Um, but now that's pretty much all the things that happened in the second episode. But now the third episode, the episode that came out yesterday, and oh boy, people of YouTube, I had a blast watching this last episode three of My Hero Academia. I feel like this is the best episode thus far because it had pretty much all the same elements that happened in the first season on why we all love the first season of My Hero Ac uh, Academy. And now they're uh, kicking ass, taking names, um, I, especially Deku. I liked how what Deku did he, um, in this uh, third episode. Basically, it's this huge obstacle course. They had to go through all these, like, these barriers. The first barrier was were like these major big robots that we're in the entrance entrance exam that Deku had to uh, go up against. <clears throat> there was that. Then there was um, this huge like pit of like uh, platforms, I would say. And you know they had to jump across all those platforms, and they're like they're huge. And then in the last episode, there were like these huge uh, this long landmine section. And after you clear all those three, you go to the ending on uh, the finish line of the of uh, the the obstacle course, the finish line. So I like what Deku does in 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 this episode because he he's just clever thinking. Like first he he manages to like grab a piece of like the shield almost and kills this one um robot. He starts running and for the second course, I mean he there were like all these ropes and stuff that he could have just um you know scaled through. He didn't want to use all for one because he didn't want to use it this early in the competition, and that's kind of understandable. So, he, you know, he's tearing through the first two. Then the landmine uh, section shows up. And what he did in that landmine section completely blew my freaking mind. Uh, so he pretty much, you know, as everyone's trying to, you know, go through this you know, one by one, either they're going really slowly, or the Zuko and Bakugo are all the way in the front, and, you know, they're, they're duking it out in the front. And then... <clears throat> Deku's like trying to formulate a plan, like, hmm, what, how, how can I handle this? So he uses the shield, because he still has that shield from um, that Iron Robot, and he pretty much digs out the mines, put all the mines in like a pile, and blows the mines up, and then he just flews all the way to like catch up to Bakugo and the others, and he's trying to make the landing, he's trying to stick the landing, but then he grabs the shield, hits the mine again, blows up the mine, and then he starts uh, flying through the thing, and then he throws away the shield, and he starts bolting, and he starts running, and he ends up winning first place. And that shit blew my mind. I was going nuts in that scene. I'm like, damn, you know, <sighs> Oh god, I, I'm going nuts right now because I'm really, I'm really enjoying so far My Hero Academy season two. I'm having a fucking blast already watching this, and it's only been three episodes. More like Attack on Titan season two. I'm already enjoying this as well. <sighs> but I like what Deku did in this episode, and that's a mention in this third episode. You got to see some of the other quirks in action, like um, <clears throat> there was um. Now, yeah, the, the icy hot dude where he's trying, uh, the Zuko wannabe, he's using his thing, you see Bakugo trying to, uh, you know, use his ex explosions out of the way. The frog girl, you know, jumping, lot, uh, climbing and whatever. Um, you see some new quirks as well. Um, like this one, like iron steel dude, and then like the steel iron dude, but they basically have the same quirk almost. And, um, you see, um, there were some other quirks that I really freaking liked and enjoyed. But for the most part, these are like all the... Things I could just clearly remember off, remember off the top of my head, and <clears throat> so far, <laughs> I'm really digging it. I'm really enjoying My Hero Academy season two. I, I think um, honestly, this was the one I was looking forward to the most. Honestly, I wasn't really looking forward to Attack on Titan season two, mainly because it was like four years late. And um, if you were to ask like three me three years ago, what? And if Attack on Titan Season 2 was going to come out at that time, you know, um, 
I was going to be excited for that. But I'm, I was honestly looking forward to this one the most. Because I loved My Hero Academy Season 1. And now watching the second episode really just rekindled that love for My Hero Academia. And I really am enjoying it so far. There's only been three episodes and I'm really having a fun time already watching this. So people of YouTube... That's gonna wrap this video up. I'm, I'm really freaking hyped. I'm really excited. I can't wait for next week's episode because the next week's episode, oh, I'm definitely looking forward to this uh, next week's episode. Uh, which is the uh, next Saturday. Uh, the following, this Saturday, coming up. Uh, yeah. That's, that's gonna wrap this video up. Oh, I got two videos to edit, people of YouTube, and I guess I'm wearing the same shirt. Deal with it. But... I'm really excited. I'm really happy for the second season. So, so you know, th this season is going to be looked up. Uh, it's going to be looking pretty good. There are a few animes this season I want to check out, maybe sometime in the future. But I don't know. We'll see. And um, we're. Ju I'm just going to leave it as at that. I'm going to start recording, uh, editing these videos, and um, I'll upload them in like in a timely fa fashion. <clears throat> so there's that. So people of YouTube. My, uh, if you would like to see more of this channel, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And until then, people of YouTube, this is the Crimson Assassin signing out. Very excited for the next week for both Attack on Titan Season 2 and My Hero Academia Season 2. I'm, I'm very excited for both of them. So, there you have it, people of YouTube. There are my videos. And until then, peace.